Dressing your age does not mean you have to sacrifice style. Linda Davis with House of Color Kansas City is here with tips on how to stay hip and stylish and not be what my little cousin likes to call when she and I go shopping and she doesn't like something I try on. She says, oh, oh no, that's mutton dressed as lamb. Isn't that cruel? That's harsh, <laughs> but honest, right? Nobody wants to look like that. So you brought some, you have some examples that we're gonna show on the screen. What is the key, you know, if you're over 20? Well, you know, age appropriate sounds like it's all over, but it's not. You know, think of it as evolving into a more elegant and upscale version of yourself. Right, like a 20 year old can wear all leather, you know, you know, and we go a little bit smaller portion yeah. of it. it. It's yeah, and, and you know, youth is forgiving, and so the rules become a little bit sure. stricter as we get older. Mini the way skirts, to put it. absolutely. What, how how high is too high, and um, what do we have to do for mini skirts? You know, there's not hard lines, mm -hmm. so it, it is a little bit. Um, there is some personality is going to play in, body type is going to play in, but you know, as you go through, it does, the mini becomes less mini. Um, and and think about right. adding things like um, opaque tights so that okay. you're, you're showing your silhouette instead of your skin. Um, well, what about shorts, though? Because shorts are like underpants now. I mean, how do you find shorts that aren't up to your buns? You know, a lot of people like to go to a, a short skirt. Mm -hmm. There's some great options that can have okay. a little bit more coverage. It's still summer. It's still cool. Um, but just, again, finding that that's flattering. Because walking shorts are great for some, but they don't fit everybody type. Uh, stilettos. So, you know, the rule I have for high heels, because if you want to wear them, as long as you can still walk attractively in them, okay. that's the deal. We do lose padding on the bottom of our feet, so they really, we're not imagining it. They become less uncomfortable. Color. What about color? You know, color is my big issue. That's you know, an area of my expertise. And the wrong color can age you so quickly. So knowing the brights that are good, but also the darks, because, you know, black does not love you necessarily as much as you love it. What's the color that ages people the most? Is well, there one color that's a no-no? No, it depends on your coloring. So whereas black will age some women, it looks fantastic on others as they get older. It is individual, and you need to know that for yourself. Cleavage, go. <sighs> you know, it, some women, <laughs> yeah. it is a personality thing. Right. So, you know, 20, some women don't show it at all. You know, what I would say is some women do look good showing some skin. At any age, Soft, is cleavage okay? You know, some amount, it becomes less. And soften it. There's some great peek-through, you know, outfits out there now. Um, some sheer on top, a good bra. That's a big deal. Sofia Vergara, too much cleavage? I'm not asking Dave or Gary. I'm asking you. You know what? She <laughs> clearly has lots of romantic in her. Right. Um, and so it's, and, you know, it is a TV personality. Uh, so, yeah, again, it's not about making a rule. It is some comfort level for the person, but keeping it elegant. And one more, I've got denim. Is there a rule for denim? Everybody can wear it. Mm -hmm. um, it still, it gets a little bit more upscale. So, you know, the trend, stay away from too trendy, too much bling. Um, keep it contemporary with the lines based on your body type. So too trendy would be the faux rips and the pop patterns on the pockets? Absolutely. That That's just a little bit too much. You know, okay. to go a, go a little bit more expensive and upscale looking, not necessarily in cost, but in look. I want to bring in Dave because you recently did Dave's color. Come on, Dave. You're never shy. Call me. All right. So you did Dave's color on I the did, color yes. wheel. And do you have any pointers? Did he obey you with what So he has on nice, bright, clear colors, right. which fits him perfectly. Thank and bright you, blue, doing great. She's so polite and nice. Is there anything he missed on? You know what? Looking Other good. Other than sunblock in Mexico, because I'm peeling like a snake right now. Well, there you are. Look at him doing the blue steel doing while Linda goes hits. to town. <laughs> what color did you guys decide was best for Dave? You know, it's not that there's one color. It's a, a category of colors. So he's clear and bright. Um, and he's blue-based, so he's going to look better in cool colors than he will in ones like oranges and peaches and rust. What about hair? Can he pull off the Clooney, or does he still go spiky, faux, messed up? Yeah, so, you know, we did color, not style on him. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a look, What about right. Phil Spector? Does you know, Phil Spector I was thinking Katy Perry might be a better look for him. Oh, Katie Perry. okay. Katy Perry. Light pink, you know. <laughs> better than Phil Spector. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> All right. Great advice here. Thanks.